What do you know about, gosh, the, the Federal Election Commission or campaign finance laws? Very little. Did you read the New York Times article um, about, about your involvement in this case? I did. Okay. So in, in essence, you actually created negative press for the campaign right before the election too, didn't you? Actually, I didn't place that article. I didn't provide the, uh, the, my report to the New York Times. Uh, I didn't respond to the New York Times. So I think whoever was responsible for providing the, my, my report to the New York Times led, led to its coverage. I did not. I did. Um, and so it, it, but you agree that it was very critical of your opinions related to campaign finance for rules. I'm sorry, I misstate the article. Do you know what the federal contribution limit is for a person? I do not. Also legal conclusion. Okay. So in that New York Times article, uh, do you know who Paul Ryan is? I do not. Do you know who the group Common Cause is? I'm familiar with them. I've okay. never worked with them. Fair enough. Paul Ryan, with the group Common Cause, said in the article, in my opinion, it would be illegal. This would be an illegally large in-kind contribution to the Trump campaign. In preparing your report, where you recommend Omarosa essentially fund $800,000 in commercials, did you consider whatsoever campaign finance laws? I did not, but I think that <clears throat> if I would worded my report incorrectly. I think what I was really suggesting, and I, and perhaps I wasn't as articulate as I could have been or as clear, is not that Omarosa pay, but it would be a cost to the campaign to pay for the corrective advertising. Um, if, I, if I suggested in my report that it come out of Omarosa's pocket and that, you know, then I would update my report and, and make it more clear that it was for the cost of the campaign. Now, that's not fair. I just asked you if you plan to supplement your report, and you told me no, right? Well, I said if, if that were the, I don't plan on the supplementary report, but if I wasn't clear and, and, you're, uh, and you're misreading my report, I would feel free if, you, if anyone thought it was necessary or perhaps this deposition takes care of it. I wasn't suggesting that Amorosa pay. I was suggesting the campaign pay. Well, now I think you're suggesting I can't read. So let me let me find. No, I, I'm suggesting, and I uh, appreciate you. Uh, I, I'm suggesting I wasn't as clear as I could have been. Let's 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 read page five, last paragraph. A person who abides by confidentiality agreements when writing a book and subsequently making media appearances to promote the book would never be in a position to be forced to run corrective advertising. It is my opinion that the only, Mr. Rose, let me stop. What does only mean? Objection argumentative. Does only mean exclusively? It is, it is yes, you could say that. Okay. So only does it mean just, just one option, right? Right. Okay. I think, I think. Uh, let me I finish can... my sentence. Let me finish okay. my sentence. It is my opinion that the only effective remedy would be a corrective advertising campaign that would be financed by Ms. Manigault Newman. So what is finance? That means paid for, right? Yeah. Okay. So let me make sure I'm not misreading this, sir. Your, her only, the only effective remedy would be for her to finance a campaign. Doesn't that mean she needs to pay for it? The way it's written there uh, would suggest that, and I'm clearly not correct. I'm not a campaign lawyer. I'm not a person who uh, has deep understanding of campaign laws, but 
in my mind, I clearly wrote it incorrectly. When I was writing this report, I was thinking about the Trump campaign and it's not obvious. It's obviously not clear here on the way I wrote it. Oh, I think it's very clear. I mean, you may have been wrong. You may have recommended an illegal measure, but how is that not clear? It is your opinion that the only effective remedy would be a corrective advertising campaign that would be financed by Ms. Manigault Newman. Objection, argumentative. Call is that for legal. Clear? I'm sorry, was there a question? Is that unclear? I think that it's very clear that um, the way I wrote it is not correct. I'm not, and I'm very clearly, I'm not an attorney. I'm not a finance person, okay. um, but I think that the, my report and as I was writing it, I was thinking about the cost of the campaign. Okay, and let's go to page 17. Um, the last paragraph, middle, middle, it says, it would be my recommendation that Ms. Manigault Newman pays for the corrective ads slash corrective statements outlined above to counteract the long-term adverse effects of information that appeared as a result of Ms. Manigault Newman violating her confidentiality agreement. Again, is there any ambiguity, ambiguity in that sentence that Ms. Manigault Newman was supposed to, under this report, pay $846,000 to the Trump campaign to finance commercials? As I've said, I clearly have misstated my, what I was thinking. I th was thinking that the campaign should pay for the corrective advertising campaign. How, how Amorosa ends up paying or not paying is, is not uh, you know, an area that I converse in. No, and I understand you're not, a, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. Right. Were you, were you underinformed or wrong thinking, not thinking about campaign financing laws, or is there something you know, is there something else? Is it is it um, that you were you misspoke? I I think I'm clear. I'm not conversed in federal financing laws, and I think. Also, the focus of my report to look at corrective advertising uh, specific to the statements that Amorosa made. Uh, and I came up with a conservative number. Okay. Uh, I think that speaks for itself. Do you know who the Campaign Legal Center is? I do not. Okay. Um, they made a comment, a, a guy named Brandon Fisher, F I S C H E R. It's Brendan, B R E N D A N. I can't believe that the Trump campaign's attorneys would have allowed something like that to have been put in writing. Um, and so it was not only put in writing, it went to the attorney's office and then they sent it to us and we haven't received a supplement and you don't plan to have a supplement. Is that, is that correct? I wasn't planning on having a supplement. And the election's over. So there's no, is there any point now to run? Um, I mean, maybe there is, is there, is there, is there a point now to run a, Kind of anti-defamation campaign. Objection Vegas to hang on, Eric. Objection Vegas to anti-defamation campaign. Calls for a legal conclusion. You can answer if you understand. My report was written in the run-up to the election, with the thinking that the corrective advertising campaign would be run uh, prior to the election. Okay. I believe it was issued October 8, 2020, so you know, a month or so before election day, fair? Yes, sir.